Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to turn any static image into a beautiful parallax like this in just 3 simple steps. You would have already seen this effect in the videos of many popular YouTubers. Let's get started. For step 1, let's create some static images using AI. You can use Midjourney for this but I am going to show you how you can do this for free. Let's head on to ideogram, we are going to search with this prompt. Select realistic over here. On the right side, make sure that you select aspect ratio 16 by 9 and the color palette, I am going to keep it as fresh. Just click on generate and you will get some beautiful images like this. In case you don't want to use AI, you can also head on to a free image site like Pixels and look for images over here. You can search for a person standing on a mountain. See, you will get many beautiful images like this. For step 2, let's head on to photo room. I provided this link to you in the description. This website is completely free. All you need to do is just select the picture over here. We are going to use this picture. Over here in the brush size, just increase this such that it can cover the object completely and just scroll it down like this. Awesome, as you can see the person is completely removed. Let's download this. Let me show you one more example. In this case as well, let's increase the brush size and then just paint over it. Awesome. Next we also need to remove the background from behind the object. For that again click over here and now you can click on AI background remover. Let's again select the same picture. As you can see within seconds the entire background will be removed. Just download this and let's now bring our assets to CapCut. First we are going to drag the background. Let's stretch it around 6 seconds. Next we have the person. Again I am going to keep it till 6 seconds. Let's keep the person over here in the middle. To give it a better look we are also going to add an overlay of smoke. For that you can just go on to the library and over here search for smoke. We are going to use this one. Just drag and drop it over here on the top. In the plane go to a drop down the mode that you have to select is called as overlay scroll down and in the layer let's keep it on layer 1 again go to the speed let's adjust the speed we can keep it around 5x let's do one thing let's keep this all the way till the end perfect now finally let's start with our keyframe animations Click on the background, add a keyframe to transform at the start, go to the end and from the sides stretch the background, something like this. We will repeat the same process over here, click on transform, again go to the end, let's roll out a bit and stretch the person. Perfect. Let's see this. Awesome. Now we only need to add some finishing touches to the animation. Let's go to effects. You can either use rebound swing or play pendulum. For now, drag play pendulum and put it on the background. In the details, keep everything at around 5 or 6. Keep the sharp one to 4 and the speed finally to around 5 or 6. Let's do the same with the person. Drag and drop the play pendulum on the person. Let's keep it all the way down. Perfect. And finally, let's add a rain effect. I'm going to search for rain. Let's drag it on the top and scroll it till the end. Let's see this. Perfect. If you loved the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next time.